So here we are in the garage for this unit. And as you can see, we actually, as discussed, we have very narrow walls. We don't have a portal frame. We don't have any supplemental bracketry or hold downs. We have the beam column of our frame coming across into our beam there. That is our entire lateral and vertical system all compiled into one. What you don't see is down here at the bottom, you see a little slit and there's a bracket and that's this guy right here. And this is our universal base. So every single one of these beam columns has one of these at the bottom. And how we get the different capacities is our anchorage into the foundation wall. So these provide us, we have two anchor spots and depending on the depth of the anchor that we put in the foundation, we can retain this with just standard Simpson Titan HDs all the way up to almost a 30 inch deep bolt system that's going to get us almost 6,000 pounds of uplift capacity for our frames. So using a combination of that, we're able to pick up all of the lateral loading for the structure. And then if we do have a situation where we are slightly under capacity, the system is so universal, we can infill in with a wood shear wall. Again, very negligible, the amount of shear walls that are in this home, the majority of the forces are all picked up with the Shaw wood system, again, allowing us to really optimize the use of that wood, use it for vertical and lateral loading, and give us very, very large openings.